to ensure that we have confidence in and understand how to employ these new technologies and capabilities, we have to demonstrate them in a relevant environment, build prototypes, and perform experimentation. This will build confidence in these new technologies for our warfighter. These transformational programs are the lead element for thinking and warfighting differently. As a result, we have called these Vanguard programs. A Webster's, uh, as Webster's defines Vanguard as the lead military element in an advancing formation. Likewise, these are the lead technology demonstrators for the new Air Force capabilities. It's critical that we are open and receptive to new ideas. To do that, we will broadly compete ideas across industry, academia, and government to enable new thinking and approaches to these difficult problems. Again, we do not yet know what technology or combinations of technology will emerge as the key difference makers for delivering these strategic capabilities. We will only know that through competing, assessing, and demonstrating. The second is to continue and expand our partnerships with other stakeholders in the science and technology ecosystem, which includes universities, industry, both large and small businesses, other defense laboratories, and other government laboratories, including the National Science Foundation and the Department of Energy Labs, to name just a couple. The reemergence of great power competition demands that our science and technology ecosystem expand to include not just the whole of the Defense Department or the whole of government, we seek to engage the whole of nation as the science and technology ecosystem to ensure we dominate time, space, and complexity in future conflict across all operating domains.